Hi, I'm David Hulsright, and I write crime fiction, mysteries, which we all know is the most important literature being written today. And yes, I can hear you snickering. Uh, no less a personage than Graham Greene once called these books entertainments. And there's a lot to be said for that. But I believe the best crime novels, the best mysteries, have always been about more than who done it. Who's always been about more than who killed Mr. Body in the library with a candlestick. Uh, we deal with all of the issues and themes that you would find in so-called literary fiction. Graham Greene, for example, wrote The Third Man, which became a, a terrific uh, film noir with Orson Welles and Joseph Cotton Trevor Howard, I highly recommend it. And if you read it, you'll find out that he had plenty more to say than who done it. Uh, I believe that uh, you can learn as much about being a, a black in America by reading Walter Mosley or Tracy Clark or Gary Phillips as you can reading uh, Richard Wright or Marlon James. I believe you can learn as much about being Native American by reading uh, Marcy Rendon and, and William Ken Kruger and Tony Hillerman as you can reading Louise Erdrich. Uh, you want to learn about being homosexual in America, there are my, my pals Jesse, uh, Jesse Chandler and Ellen Hart. Uh, in this book, my book, camera guys having me hold it up. Uh, this is my 27th novel, by the way, if you're keeping track. We deal with the murder of George Floyd in the aftermath, not only in the uh, Black Lives Matter uh, movement, but also in the law enforcement community. Uh, we deal with white supremacy in rural Minnesota. Guess what? There are white supremacists in rural Minnesota. Uh, we deal, the book takes place during COVID. So we deal with the, the, the politics of COVID, the anti-vaxxers versus the vaxxers, the mask wearers versus the guys who won't wear a mask. At the heart of the book, though, is a family drama. Uh, it deals with the Reading Castle, which is a glorified mansion built in the 1860s and how the family deals with this legacy 160 years later. Do we sell it? Do we, do we keep it? What do we do? And yes, there's murder. Uh, somebody compared it to the movie Night, uh, Knives Out. I haven't actually seen it, so I can't say, but I think you'll enjoy it. I did. Thank you for your time.